uh, big winners on a Saturday, looking to do the same here in this £26,000 chase over, gosh, three and a half miles. The Betfair each way edge handicap chase this marathon trip in excess of three and a half miles and favourite little Bruce with the white sleeves will lead at the first of 22 scheduled fences, jumps it well, they will get over it safely, though Sam Red towards the far side in the dark blue backed off it slightly and he's in the last group of three with two smoking barrels in the centre and very first time on the extreme left and little Bruce is over the first, the ditch is has gone. Little Bruce lands too steeply and has crashed out. Uh, happily, horses uh, quickly on his feet. The gelding gallops away and Tommy Dowson at present is still down. Uh, hopefully he'll rise shortly. Red infantry left clear over the third from Dawson City and Bishop's Road who took a bit of a chance. And then the teenager Alvarado with a white face from Sam Red, two smoking barrels and very first time. And, uh, Red Infantry, pursued by the riderless Little Bruce, is over the fourth clear of Dawson City and Bishop's Road. And then Alvarado, and a three or four length break to the final trio. Two smoking barrels, Sam Red, and a very first time. And I'm afraid at the moment Tommy Dowson is uh, still on the deck on the landing side of that second fence. So with two circuits to cover, Red Infantry who was left well in advance of his rivals at the second, remains clear as the riderless little Bruce gallops out of uh, harm's way. Red Infantry heading Dawson City and Bishop's Road on the run to the first of a line of five fences down the back. Alvarado in the blue and pink silks in fourth position, ahead of Sam Red in the cheap pieces, and then very first time racing on the far side of the mare, two smoking barrels, who's in the uh, purple and yellow. So here's fence five then, Red Infantry with ears pricked, steadies, gets over it neatly enough, as do the others. First four fences across on the far side, all plain, and then an open ditch. Red Infantry from Dawson City on the near side of Bishop's Road, second and third, Dawson City jumping particularly fluently there. Alvarado landed in fourth, and then very first time, and Brian Hughes racing towards the far rail, Sam Red and Harry Skelton upside smoking barrels. The mare, it was just about the last to touch down, but out jumped at very first time there as they move on uh, towards fence eight. Red infantry from Dawson City down on the inner. Bishop's Road landed in third ahead of Alvarado, two smoking barrels and Sam Red together, and then very first time, who at one or two of his fences on the far side hasn't really had a cut. Here's another open ditch, Red Infantry having a good look around him, but jumps it with plenty of daylight to spare. Again, very first time, a little awkward at the back of the field, and they head into the uh, far corner. Running towards the end of a mile and a half now. Uh, looks as though they'll be jumping just the three fences up the straight. The open ditch set to be omitted. And Red Infantry leading Bishop's Road, the shadow to Dawson City. Alvarado with Adam Wedge in the plate in fourth. And then Sam Red towards the right, very first time on the left. And two smoking barrels and Ben Post in the centre. Circuit under their belts now, they come to at fence 10. And Red Infantry continues to stargaze a little, but jumps soundly enough. Ahead of Bishop's Road moving up to apply a bit of pressure as they move through now to bypass the ditch. Dawson City in third, then the white-faced Alvarado, and the last three are as they have been throughout. Sam Red, two smoking barrels, and very first time. On to the next pair of plane fences up the straight before one further circuit, and Red Infantry. Out jump there by Bishop's Road, and Dawson City is down. Dawson City a fall up, slightly impeded, two smoking barrels. Dawson City himself has uh, galloped away. Connor Schumacher at the moment is sitting up. Red Infantry back in front there from Bishop's Road, who was overbold and nodded on landing, and Sam Red has crashed out there. Sam Red is down, he's up and galloped away. Harry Skelton's on his feet, so uh, loose horses everywhere at the moment. They all appear to be fine. Looks as though Connor Schumacher's on his feet as well. 
And a field of five remaining head out on the final circuit of this Betfair Each Way Edge Handicap Chase. Red Infantry from Bishop's Road, who took a chance at the previous fence. Alvarado tracking the leading pair towards the far side. And then very first time and two smoking barrels as they move on towards the first of this line of five fences in the back straight at once again. So Red Infantry and Tom O'Brien with a slender advantage to Bishop's Road and champion jockey Richard Johnson on the near side of Alvarado and then very first time in two smoking barrels together. Here's the first down the back, Red Infantry jumping soundly from Bishop's Road. Very first time, not as slick as the four ahead of him there, having to be chivied into the bridle by Brian Hughes. As they move on towards another plain fence, Red Infantry jumping well from Bishop's Road. Alvarado almost joined in third by two smoking barrels, and a little bit of a gap is opening up then to very first time, who gets a reminder. They've got about a mile to travel halfway down the back for the last time. Red Infantry and Bishop's Road putting a bit of pressure on the rivals in behind. They've gone five or six lengths clear of the white-faced Alvarado together with two smoking barrels and a gap to very first time. Red Infantry flicking through the top of that plain fence and now on towards what looks like being the last ditch. So the final fence in the back straight. Red Infantry with Bishop's Road coming to have another crack at him. They land almost as one to Alvarado and two smoking barrels together about six lengths off the leading pair and very first time toiling on at the back of the field as they begin the swing back towards home outside the last half mile and three fences to jump up the straight. All of them plain. Red Infantry moving on by a length and a half to Bishop's Road. Two smoking barrels in the purple and yellow has managed to erode the deficit to three three lengths shaken up. Alvarado is right on her tail and they're well clear of very first time. So in line for the third last, Red Infantry from Bishop's Road. They've been pushing the gallop on now for a fair way. Here's the third last. Red Infantry, big and bold, extended the lead to three lengths over Bishop's Road, then two smoking barrels. Alvarado made a mistake. They bypassed the open ditch. Couple of plain fences to jump. Still three furlongs to travel. Red Infantry held together in front, continuing to prick his ears and have a good look around him. Bishop's Road is still chasing in the hands of the champion jockey. They've drawn away now from two smoking barrels and Alvarado. And here's the second last. Red Infantry all got in a bit tight to that one, but landed two lengths ahead of Bishop's Road. The run down to the final fence and then a furlong on the flat. Red Infantry idling in front, having to be driven firmly. Bishop's Road has to switch. Here's the last. Red Infantry gets over it. Two or three clear and Bishop's Road lands in a heat but that has surely settled the issue. Red Infantry halfway up the run-in. Bishop's True trying to regather the momentum, but Red Infantry with ears flicking backwards and forwards, grinding out a gutsy success here for Ian Williams and Tom O'Brien. Red Infantry earns his stripes and sees off Bishop's Road, who went down fighting. Alvarado in third, and then... Yeah, well, only for about Red Infantry, then for Ian Williams and Tom O'Brien. British Road Road made right Horlicks to the last. Might have been a lot closer. Alvarado back in third. That was the 12.48 at 1, 2, 3.